Hello, Gemini viewers. I'm going to look into your situation. Um, as you guys know, if, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I, I typically do mid-month and beginning of the month Zodiac videos, and I'm going to continue to do these for you guys. But I'm also doing third-party readings and twin flame and soulmate readings as well. So I'm just letting you guys know, for those of you that have been with me a while, this channel is, is going to... Uh, become a little bit more diverse. So there's going to be a mix. I'm still going to give you guys these readings that you like, but there's also going to be some some additions to this channel as well. So I hope you guys are all on board for that. But let's see what the current situation is. And I remain unbiased when I do these readings. So this could be, you know, it could be an ex, it could be a new person, it could be about money, it could be about a family member. It's just whatever, you know, whatever the cards want to tell you right now, whatever the cards want to tell this energy group. So we have spying, we have overthinking, overanalyzing, and self-sabotage. This is like a little, uh, you know, a little too late kind of energy here. This is someone who um, probably took too long. I think that they, they sabotaged things. They pushed you away. They questioned you. And they've done some soul searching. It feels like they've, you know, they've taken this mask off. They've realized the truth. Um, there could have been a truth that was revealed about something regarding this connection. Maybe someone told them that you're still missing them or still thinking about them. Maybe like mutual friends brought you up and it triggered some old painful mem mem memories for them. But someone's spying here and it's like they just, I get the energy of someone that just basically took too long to get it together. And now they're wanting to come in, but it, it might just be, you might have moved on from this. I don't know. We'll see what the situation is. We'll see if there's anybody... Let's see if the cards talk about anyone new coming in for you guys as well. Um, manipulation, deception, publicity, social media, mutual feelings, emotional depth. I feel like... Hmm, isolation, loneliness, emptiness. There was a secret... I feel like there was, let me confirm this with my pendulum, and this might only be for like 50% of you. Let me straighten this out for you guys here. Sorry about that. Is there a secret for this group that just came out on social media? So I'm getting a maybe leaning towards yes. So I'd say for like 80% of you, there was some kind of secret that just came out. This could be like a third party, like maybe they're with a third party and they caught the third party cheating. They caught, so there was some kind of betrayal here, some kind of jealousy or conflict that might have um, caused this, this more masculine energy to feel isolated, alone, empty. I feel like this is an interesting energy here. It's a very interesting energy. Okay, so I'm so I had to look at the energy for a minute to get to see what I'm getting here because there's two different storylines here. Like it's the same energy group, but there's there's two different sets here. So the secret is different for some of you. For some, this person betrayed you, and there was a hidden truth that just came out that kind of shocked them. So for some, this person betrayed you or cheated on you, hurt you in the past. And, or maybe they just, maybe they were insecure and they just felt like you couldn't really love them. So they kind of ghosted you out of their own fear. And something, so for this storyline, someone just found out some kind of secret via social media or like a social group. Or um, like maybe you have mutual friends or someone told them this. Acquaintances, coworkers, so however it plays out for you. But but some kind of secret was just revealed. And I think for, for storyline number one, and I'm going to get into two in just a second. But for storyline number one, I think that that secret was that you still love them or you still do have feelings for them or you're holding out hope for them. Um, or it could have even been like a shock to them, like you're dating somebody new and they just found out about it. It's something that kind of stirred up some emotion because you see this masculine energy here. It's like he's, look at him. He's like taking this mask off. He's like, oh, like, it's like a, like a deer in headlights moment. Like, oh, uh-oh, I should have taken this mask off sooner. Like, he's really, he's he's realizing some really um, intense hidden truths. You know, the, the facades are dropping is what I'm getting from this. So I think some of them, you know, just found out 
on social media that you still have feelings for them. Maybe some of them are stalking your social media and you're posting things to let them know like low key, nothing major, but just low key things to kind of let them know that you're not quite over it. Like maybe you're, um, maybe you posted a song or something or song lyrics, or maybe you, maybe you're a musician and you wrote a new song or something, just something, some kind of hidden information that was just revealed that, um, that let this person know that, that you still love them or that they, they need to make some kind of move on you. That's storyline number one is what I'm feeling because there's like mutual feelings. It's like someone has this realization via social media that there are still mutual feelings here that no, you have not moved on. They thought you moved on. They, they thought that you were long over this. And this could even be that you guys just talked on social media or you called or texted each other and you just straight up told them like, hey, like I always had feelings for you. And it was like this shock because... They thought you didn't want them. You thought they didn't want you. And now there's this kind of coming together, this realization that, no, there are still feelings here. Um, you know, someone might have told... There, there could be two feminine energies here. Someone might have revealed something here to let them know that, um, you know, that you do still care, that you're not over it, that this did hurt you more than they realized it did. I feel like there might have been some betrayal or some kind of ghosting here. And this person right here is is spying and realizing that this hurt you a lot more than they um than they realized it hurt you. Maybe they thought maybe they thought it was best for you if they left and they just kind of slowly snuck away and now they're realizing that was a mistake. That they should have stuck it out. You know, maybe they thought that you weren't that into it or something, and now they're realizing you actually are. And they caused their own loneliness and their own isolation and emptiness. They're realizing that they did this to themselves. This is their own bad karma for hurting something. It's like the divine brought them this beautiful gift with you, and they questioned it. They thought, you know, oh, he or she is probably not that into me, or maybe they flirt with everybody. They, um, they just questioned it. But there's someone here is having this realization some kind of hidden truth was revealed, whether that was on social media, whether your social media or a friend's social media, or whether a friend actually just a mutual friend or coworker or someone actually just told this person or you told this person, whatever the situation is, there was some kind of truth that was just revealed that just kind of woke this person up, gave this person an epiphany and let them know, oh wow, this person actually did love me. This person actually did want me. Is it too late now? So now they're kind of spying, they're kind of watching, they're like, oh, is this too late? For others, for storyline number two, for storyline number two here, I feel like your person just got betrayed. I think they either got betrayed by you or they got betrayed by someone else. So what I'm seeing here is more like gossip, rumors, karmic energy for storyline number two, where there was a hidden truth that was revealed and it was shocking. It was like a tower moment for this person. There is a tower moment either way, whether it's, you know, them, whether it's a good tower moment or a bad tower moment, I think that you know what your individual story is. There's two different storylines here. So, you know, don't try to make it fit if it doesn't resonate, but but for for the other other storyline number one, that's a good tower moment because they're like, oh crap, I should have taken this mask off sooner. This person does love me. Why did I not see this sooner? Why did I not? This could be someone that kind of had you like in the friend zone too, or someone that like um not friend zone, but like they they thought you guys were incompatible or you were too good for them or like it you know maybe it's long distance or like oh this can never work out and now they're like oh crap like this person was actually invested in me. This person actually really did want to be with me. Do I still have a chance here? Now they're asking themselves these questions. For um for storyline number two, though, it feels like a karmic, like a jealous, gossipy kind of energy could be a, a karmic here. Because it feels like some kind of hidden truth was revealed. Like I, like I see this as like the tower card. There was some kind of tower moment that was just revealed. And um, I'm feeling like... There might have been a manipulation here. There might have been someone manipulating someone else. There could have been a secret that was exposed on social media, but it caused someone to feel betrayed. Like maybe this person found out that you're with someone. Maybe this person is spying on you and you just updated your relationship status or you posted pictures with someone and now they know you're together. Or this could also be, I could also see this as maybe you're dating someone new and they have a crazy karmic that's trying to hold on to them. And the karmic is stalking you. This third party energy is stalking you guys. And he or she just found out that you guys are together via social media. Like they're stalking your, your, maybe they sent you like a fake friend request or something. 
um, to see, you know, if you're with their person or not. Because maybe they had a hunch. Maybe they go through the, your person's phone uh, or, you know, internet or so whatever. But maybe they found out that you guys are together and this caused them a tower. This caused the karmic a tower moment. Like they feel betrayed. They feel alone now. They feel shocked. Because I'm just getting that these two energies and these two energies go together. Like someone found out about mutual feelings with someone else and it caused them to feel alone and feel shocked. The other way I could take this is, um, you know, this karmic situation, like, uh, basically rumors, gossip, something shared on social media, I feel that you may be, so this is just, I know it's a secret, but I think it's going to vary for each person here. I know that a secret was definitely just revealed for this energy group, but I feel like for some, maybe it's something that you did not want to get out on social media. Maybe you're trying to keep a kind of secret relationship, or maybe you're trying to, um, maybe there's just something you didn't want this person to find out and they did find out. Or there, you're, maybe you have mutual friends or someone spying on your social media and they um, they told this person. Because someone here, this energy here feels someone here, whether it's the karmic or it's your person or you, someone here feels alone and betrayed and heartbroken right now is what I'm getting. And it's this, someone feels alone and betrayed and heartbroken and confused due to this secret that was revealed on social media. Does that make sense? So it's either like, you know, maybe there's, maybe you're dating someone that has kids and there's like a custody battle and your person, you know, is trying to keep it low key because of the custody battle, but the karmic is a little obsessive and kind of like a stalker and they just, you know, the karmic just found out you guys are together. Uh, maybe they, they sent you like a fake friend request or something. I could also see this as like mutual friends ratting you out to this person. Like if you, um, maybe you posted something or you said something on social media that you thought was just between you and your friend and you have a hunch that this friend couldn't be trusted. Like you, you said something to your friend about this person and you felt like a drop in your stomach after you said it, like, oh, I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe I should have kept that secret to myself. And they went and told your person this. And now your person feels really confused. This could be like maybe maybe you're... And, and this is just for like one or two of you. And I'm, I'm not judging. It's it's your life. You do what you want. But maybe for just, just, just one or two of you, maybe you're actually talking to two different people. And you might have a friend that's kind of jealous of you. And you're venting to him or venting to her. So it's like someone told the, told the wrong person a secret here is what I get with this manipulation deception card. There's some kind of backstabbing, some kind of betrayal here. Cause it feels like, um, it feels like maybe, like maybe you are venting to this person and you're like, oh, I can't choose between, you know, you know, Bob and Tom or whatever. Like I can't choose between these two people. I'm, I'm a little torn, maybe not even cheating. Maybe you're just not officially with either of these people, male or female, or maybe it's two women that you're, that you're, you know, two men, two women, however it plays out for your storyline. But it's like maybe you told this person like I'm trying to choose between these two people and you felt like a weird jealous energy when you told them that secret and they went and told your person. You know what I mean? Like, oh, like maybe they're trying to get with your person and they're like, oh, she's actually talking to another guy or he's talking to someone else. Um, you know, she they're not as into you as, the, as you think and it causes confusion. I actually, I actually could see this almost being the same storyline. You know, I thought it was two different ones, but I'm like, actually, this could make sense because possibly... There was a lie or betrayal like this that happened in the past for some of you. And now this truth comes out that this person was just gossiping and lying. Like maybe someone told them like, oh, you're talking to a bunch of people. Or maybe you were like really close to, um, you know, Bob and Tom. I, I can't believe that. <laughs> like those, those are the best names I can come up with. <laughs> um, you know, maybe you're talking to your friend Linda over here and about Bob and Tom or whatever about, or, you know, male or female, take it, don't, there's no gender here, you know, it's, it, this could be LGBT as well, it's, it's, you know, take it as it resonates, there's no spe specified gender here, but, um, maybe in the past, you told this person some secrets, like you told them, hey, I'm having a hard time deciding between these two people, and then this, this friend of me went and told your person, went and told Tom over here that you're talking to Bob as well. And you're talking to this person like, oh yeah, Linda, does, you know, this person doesn't actually want you. This person's talking to a bunch of people. When in reality, maybe you were super close to choosing Tom and you were going to your friend for advice here and um, he or she misled you. You know what I mean? Like 
Like maybe like they made it, they, there was some kind of manipulation, some kind of deception that took place here. So maybe they went to your person. They're like, oh yeah, they're not that into you. They're talking to a bunch of different people. Like maybe, you know, I know, I know I'm friends with her, but like maybe, we, maybe, you know, we can go on a date sometime, you know, like you deserve better than that. And the reality is that maybe you were actually very close to choosing this person, Tom or, you know, whoever, whatever their name is. And, you know, maybe this person just kind of ghosted and, and fell away because they, you know, heard this rumor and they were like, okay, I'm going to have self-respect. I'm not even going to confront this. And they just kind of fell away. And now there's a hidden truth being revealed that the, the feelings were actually mutual, that even if you were talking to two people, you were actually very close to choosing them. You were just kind of figuring things out. But um, there's some kind of hidden, major hidden truth here revealed is what I'm feeling. And for most of you, I think this person is coming to the realization that someone lied to them or there was some kind of deception here and that there are actually very real, very mutual, deep feelings here. You know, it's like someone caused, someone betrayed this person and caused them to be isolated and alone. And they kind of did it to themselves because why did they not talk to you about it? Why did they not just confront you? Some of them were kind of heartbroken or kind of just like, like almost like a self-respect thing where they're like, you know what? I'm not even going to do the drama because maybe they showed them screenshots. Maybe this person showed them screenshots of your texts or your messages. So they... Maybe there was like some, maybe you sent them some messages where you're like, oh, I'm trying to choose between these two people. And like, they, they kind of chose what screenshots to send them specifically. You know what I mean? Like, and if this is your reading and you want a private reading, just email me. I'm doing $40 readings this week only. Uh, my email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. And any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar, it adds up quickly. My donation link is below. My ears just started ringing a lot. That was interesting. Um, anyway, the, my donation links below, my email address is below in the description box. So just send me an email if you'd like a private reading. Please subscribe if this is your story as well and share this out. Maybe more people need to hear this. But anyway, I'm getting with the screenshots, like maybe, um, maybe these screenshots, like the, like this frenemy here, maybe showed your person the screenshots, but they only showed a small chunk of the screenshots. Like maybe you were saying, oh, like I just went on a date with Bob and he was, he is great and all and everything's good. And I'm trying to decide between him and Tom and she screenshots that he or she screenshots that and goes and shows your person that. And then the next day you say, you, you message them and you wait and you said, you know what? I, w I woke up and I thought about it. I actually want to choose Tom. I think there's something really good here. I think there's something really deep and pure here, but you know, this person doesn't see those screenshots. This person just saw the screenshots of you thinking about choosing someone else or you having some kind of, it could be another secret too. It might not necessarily be like a relationship. It could be like, you know, something that you wanted hidden from them that they, this, this friend of me went ahead and revealed to them. But either way, it was very biased. Like they showed, they showed this person the screenshots that they wanted them to see. And they left out the part where you told your friend, you know what? I choose Tom. I, ch I love, I want to see if this could go somewhere with this person. So this person just took the screenshots as proof and just decided, you know what? I'm not even going to do with, deal with the drama. I'm not even, I have the screenshots. I have all the proof I need. I'm not even going to put myself through this. And now some kind of truth is being revealed. There's some kind of justice that's coming out to, um, to reveal that, you know, to, re to reveal that, you know, this person, someone here was lying. Someone here was being deceptive. Someone here was being jealous. But like I said, there's a few different stories here. There's a, there's an interesting mix of energies for others. Like I said, this could be, um, like a, a soulmate or twin flame, twin flame relationship that's being revealed to the karmic right now. There's just some kind of manipulation here and something's being found out. Something is something about like a secret on social media is being revealed. And that's going to let this person know that there's mutual feelings here. Let's get a few more quick messages. Nostalgia, longing, sense of belonging, home, safe space. Submissive, weak-willed. Yeah, this person also had to kind of learn lessons about, you know, being impressionable and being naive, um, being submissive. Maybe you were kind of submissive with your friends as well. Like you were kind of used by your friends. You could sense jealousy, but someone's ending some major patterns here and breaking free. 
because they're tired of being nostalgic. They want to go home. They want to find where they belong. And that could mean for you or your person, it could mean cutting toxic people out. Yeah, you got to have willpower, strength, and confidence right now to choose a path and make your life what you want it to be. Because there was a power struggle here with someone. And now someone's pausing and reflecting and resting and waiting and like saying, wait a minute, like they thought I rejected them. I thought they rejected me. There was some kind of miscommunication here. And it's like you were both waiting and hoping and praying for this connection to come back around. And now it is because someone's like, wait a minute, there was there was miscommunication here. There was miscommunication possibly by a third party or a frenemy that tried to, to cause separation between this couple. So I hope that resonates. If it makes sense, um, if you'd like a reading, just email me. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe.